I've been involved with Open Hearts at this church since um, service has been in this incarnation. And you may be wondering, what exactly is Open Hearts Cafe? To which I would respond, we're a, a dignity-based nonprofit charity located in the heart of Philadelphia. And I think of us as something of an oasis for humanity, community, coming to a place where people know your name, they know your story, they know what makes you laugh, they know some things that might hurt you. And it's a, it's a place where we kind of put aside the presiding rules and laws and customs of how we interact with people of different strata. And we just come together to share meals and give people things that, not just that they need materially, but things that they like and things that they can be proud of. So our guests come in and they get a hot meal and they get free clothing. And one of the reasons that I think our guests come back, we have sort of become this third space uh, for people to just come and be. Because when you're food and housing insecure, you don't often have a place to just be. You tend to get harassed by security and by police. You tend to get harassed by people for just sitting somewhere. There's really nowhere to be. And so we're a place where at least for a couple hours on a Sunday and on a Tuesday, you can sit and relax. And while they're eating, uh, we have a number of volunteers who will come and go back and forth from our massive clothing closet. And they will uh, take the guests' orders for whatever clothing and toiletries and sometimes sheets and linens that they need. Um, my name is Morris Miller, and I've been coming to Open Hearts Cafe for a very long, many, many years. And I like the fact that they helped me out with like a lot of clothing. Like this jacket right here, I got from here, actually. But when it was really cold outside, and they had this coat, and they were saving it just for me. And I do enjoy the fact that like the people, the volunteers, the staff, they are really good people, really friendly. It's like cheers, only without the alcohol. <laughs> We try and fulfill the donations or the, the needs when we, you know, really try and be involved and help and fulfill these orders. I involve my family, my children come down, we bring donations, and it's just a wonderful organization to be a part of. I've seen a lot of friendships form here and a lot of bonding, and I just love their outreach to the community. Uh, as far as I know, no one has ever been turned away and whatever the need is, be it clothing, a meal, a listening ear, just some concern, it seems like someone here is always willing to give a helping hand uh, with that effort. We pride ourselves on the intimacy that we provide for our guests. So, bare bones, we give you clothing that we would wear, feed you with food that we would eat, but in addition to that, this is also a hub of resources. We have lawyers seasonally, we have barbers seasonally, we have other groups that come in um, to provide these specialized services. And on top of all of those things, we have your family, and we have your friends, and we have people who are part of that, that network that we all need to feel happy and whole, and that's something that is uh, really, really critically missing in, uh, in, in the lives of a lot of people. We're going to provide that.